Hello and welcome to the Game of Thrones show, the only place to watch Game of Thrones reviews on the internet. So much better than that. I'm Benjamin. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I'm Adam. <laughs> Pete. So, uh, spoiler alert, we're going to be talking about last night's episode. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it and then come back and watch this show. Seriously, watch it though. Guys, this episode was pretty darn good. So we're going to start with Bran. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in it again. So that's awesome. It um, was actually mentioned though. If we were was, oh yeah, Brad and Rickon was match it. Oh, Man. mentioned. Match it. <laughs> was match. First, before you started, there is some house cleaning issues we have to do. Last week, a statement was said. I'm not going to say by whom, but. It made somebody kind of mad, and we're going to say officially, uh, Nina does not think literal incest is cute. No, no, she doesn't. All right, let's talk about the least interesting thing that happened this episode, which was Arya. And I just wanted to see her wearing a new face, and yeah. she wasn't, which was sad. Everything that Jack and Hagar said, yeah, is always cool. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. always cool, no matter what he says. Yeah. And so Arya's learning to become different people now and to act differently, and she's been given her first assignment. I think, to kill this gambler who ruins sailors' lives if they don't die. Insurance mm -hmm. is bad, kids. Don't yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's the lesson of this episode of Game of Thrones. Insurance is bad. I thought her hair was whack. New character, new hair. <laughs> new character, new hair. <laughs> new hair, new face. New face. <laughs> Theon, Sansa, and the Boltons. Yeah. So we're, let's go to Winterfell for a second. Sansa finally found out that Theon didn't actually kill Bran and Rickon. I really enjoyed that scene, that conversation between Theon, or I guess Reek and uh, Sansa. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cool. I thought the acting from like both parts was really good, mm -hmm. and it just shows how like broken Reek still is. Yeah. He's like, cause he, he's like, I was helping you, like you can't escape Ramsay, like that's just no longer an option at all anymore. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoever the guy is that plays Theon, like. He needs to be in more things. He's such a good actor. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's like, really good. Like how broken he portrays, like Rick. Like I think he's, I, I believe, I believe him as broken. Yeah, yeah like, like I think his mind is just like snapped. Yeah, yeah, it's like not only that I believed him when he was playing Theon. He's now playing this new character Reek. Yeah. That was that's broken Theon. Yeah. And I believe it, it like just as much or like more. Mm -hmm. Like he's Reek now. He's not Theon yeah. anymore. It's great. It's crazy. It's, like, and Sansa's tough. She's getting tough. Do you still not like her? She. I didn't really like her this episode, but man, she's getting tough. And I'm like, I appreciate that. She is getting that. tough. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. She doesn't like just. She doesn't bat. Like, I just really. Her. I'm just waiting for her to kill uh, Ramsay. Ramsay. Once she kills Ramsay, she'll have my respect, and I'll like her. And Ooh. I'll enjoy okay, her but when when yeah. Ramsay was talking to his dad about striking at Stannis, oh, yeah. I got like excited. Oh like, yeah. I don't need it. Like, I don't need an army. I just need 20 good men. And I was, and like, I was like, ooh. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, yeah. oh, I want. It's just like, oh. I love watching Ramsey fight. Yeah. You know, I want to see what he does. So it's it's, it's got to be like some weird crap that he's going to do. Yeah, well, yeah, like that just scares me for Stannis' sake. But because like Ramsey's. Well, what's he going to try to do with 20 men? Yeah, exactly. Like, he's I already like, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my. But he thinks it's going to work, whatever his plan is. Yeah. 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 Probably will. Like he's not wrong. Really. Yeah, because yeah, he's know. not an he's, idiot. He's no. not a dumb guy. He he's a pretty he's, smart guy. Yeah, he but at the same time, he's trying to like prove himself to his dad. Yeah. And like cement himself as a Bolton. So maybe he's overstepping. Taking a little bit of a risk this time. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But still, I'm so excited. But if he succeeds, how can his dad turn him down? Exactly. You know. Exactly. Like, oh yeah, because you want he doesn't. He wants that other baby to be out of the picture as far as succession goes. Yeah. He's just so. gonna kill him. He's, he's gonna kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you think he'd kill us half? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's nobody that Ramsey wouldn't kill, kind of thing. Okay. That's that's how I think of it. Oh, yeah. But um, I almost think that of Daenerys too. Like I think there's almost like nobody that Daenerys wouldn't kill. Except. She's but like she's not a villain or anything, but. She also has like that. But is anybody of... really a villain in the Game of Thrones <laughs> except for like the White Walkers? Oh, well, maybe the next, you know? Yeah, are they even a villain? Yeah, we don't know what they want. Oh, yeah. Tyrion and Jorah get presented before Queen Daenerys. <sighs> it was a very good Tyrion scene. Mm. Yeah, 
Tyrion was awesome this episode. Yeah. yeah. He has some good lines. He's proving he basically just proved that he would make a good advisor. He shows that he, he showed that he's not really afraid of Daenerys. And I don't think Daenerys really knows how to handle him or didn't know how to handle him at first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he gains like Daenerys' trust like right away just by using like being Tyrion. Tyrion. Being Tyrion. Yeah. Being and what doing what Tyrion does best, which is talking. Yeah. I was kinda and he used logic kinda to say why she should send Jorah away. Yeah. It made and, me sad though. Yeah. Broke my heart a little bit. It, it made me Jorah's sad, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, like, I feel like Tyrion, from his, like, own, like, personal self, almost kind of wanted Jorah to stay, but was like, I'm going to advise you on when mm -hmm. is the best decision. Right. Yeah, this yeah. is the best decision. This is proving to you that I'm going to be a good advisor, mm -hmm. and I can help you get what you want kind of thing. Yeah. This is your best decision, because you shouldn't kill him, but he can't, like, yeah. he can't be here with you. He wants and, like Jorah around, but yeah, like, like, I he think wants he his likes, position more. Yeah, and I still think he likes Jorah. Like I don't think like yeah. I thought yeah, I thought he could have kept Jorah. Well, no, because he knew he couldn't yeah. keep Jorah, mm -hmm. but he wanted to. He, he didn't yeah. make the right call, but it sucked. But Peter, you must be stoked because Jorah has gone back to the fighting pit. Yeah, game. dude. So oh, my, looks like so you're gonna get stoked. more fighting pit scenes, yeah. which is what you wanted. And I wasn't. I didn't think we we're gonna get any. I just didn't say that. Said no, you'd be bummed out. But it looks like we're gonna get some dope, epic fighting pit yeah. scenes. He's yeah. To the World Series. Yes. Stand the cup. <laughs> we'll see if he can. We'll see if he can outrun his grayscale or something. Yeah. Maybe yeah, when really. he gets rich and famous, he can get someone to heal him, or he'll become the one armed. Warrior of Westeros. <laughs> but right now... That's already Jamie, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> his left. <laughs> but he's already, like, that dickhead in every zombie movie that's just like, Oh, I didn't get bit. Trust me. I made it up. Yeah, fun. I don't yeah, think... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's true. But it wouldn't make sense to tell Daenerys or yeah. any of them that episode. It's just weird that he didn't tell Tyrion. Well... I w he doesn't fully trust Tyrion yet. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And if I was him, I wouldn't tell anybody about it until I'm, like, back and set up again. Yeah. And I thought when he was like leaving and he like looked at it and then like was going, I thought for sure like next step is getting rid of this, like somehow like saving this. But I, so I guess like that's a part of his plan, like if he's going to go through the fighting pits, but yeah. maybe he's still trying to get to Daenerys first. I don't know. I wonder if you could just burn out grayscale. Yeah. Just like, yeah, you know, or <laughs> like just melt it. Away yeah. Or like, oh, just cut that off. Come on, man. Oh, we finally got the break the wheel speech from Daenerys, which was really cool. I really liked that. That was from the trailer. That's mm -hmm. what got me hyped for the season. Finally got it. Oh, I, I, I forgot about that. I didn't know that was in the trailer. Yeah, it was I'm good. Wondering. Yeah, it's I'm, good. I'm scared of that, though, because, like, she, I mean, she's not going to work within the system of Westeros. Yeah, she's just going to, like, kill him. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Is that that's like, what it sounded like. What you... That's not what I wanted to do. Though. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted, I, I, just because I love the story. But you know, so it, it is kind of like her. You know, yeah. like, that's what I kind of thought. Like she's going more and more Targaryen as this series Oof. goes on. It's kind of true, true. And it is, yeah. But now she's got Tyrion though, so she's yeah. got a, a, a voice of wisdom. Yeah, she's got a voice of reason and wisdom. Yeah. And I guess if she gets back to Westeros, he has a decent claim to the Lannister seat. If she's in power. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no one else is going to hold Tyrion up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not in Westeros. Well, I don't know if she really... I don't know if what she meant by break the wheels what was uh, kill everybody. Because that's kind of what she meant by it. Just the wheel keeps spinning, right. runs in power, and then they kill each, they kill him, and then the next is in power. So what if, if she's going to... But that's like stop... Yeah, it's like stopping the wheel it's just versus like, a, like breaking. But then they also said like each family is a spoke. Yeah. Like represents yeah. a spoke. Yeah, so it's... So I thought to the, like break a wheel, you'd have to get rid of some of the smoke spokes. Not Maybe not all of them, yeah, but I guess. whereas like stopping it, you don't actually have to kill everybody, you just have to kill the one person in power. Well, stopping, that stops it, but then it starts going yeah. again, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, stopping it, I think, just meant like having a, a period of peace, kind of, where just one ruler and that's it, nobody else is trying to get the throne, stopping the wheel. Peace, happiness, kindness and goodness, all the fruits of the soul. Hey, we got a Snapchat from Nina. Ah. Seriously, slow in jail. Oh, it's yeah. so enjoyable to watch. It's, it makes it a good Game of Thrones episode. It's so enjoyable to watch Cersei just like sit there and like, but like you know when she gets out of there, like, oh, the sparrows are done. And I want the sparrows to die. Like, I hate all of them. Like, yeah. you know, like, they're, they're stupid. They're dumb. And yeah. they're like, the way that they 
how they're like how she just comes in and says to Cersei, confess and like to give her water, like confess, confess, confess. Mm-hmm. You know, at that point, you're not uh, like actually confessing that you did this. Mm-hmm. You're just getting water. All you want yeah. is water because you're starving to death. Mm-hmm. So it's just like a way to like cheat the system. Yeah. You like even if you didn't do it, you'll probably confess. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're just saying the word confess just for water. You know, like it's it's completely flawed. Yeah. It's it's not like it's brutal. Yeah, and that's why torture is bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy that Cersei's in jail. I want her to get out, and I want her to crush the sparrow, and I want her to crush Marjorie. This is about this is the, about the point. When I re- was reading the books, when all for some reason I hated Cersei up to this point, so, get to this point, switch, and I started cheering for her, and now I'm starting to cheer for her in the show too. What? No. Yeah. See, I at this point I wanted Cersei to win, and I felt I felt like sympathetic towards her, so no. I'm wondering to see what happens. No one, I've yet to meet somebody who agrees with me. Well, maybe Nina does, but you don't, and I don't yeah. know. So. No, I've re- I've read the books too, and how she was going through the whole thing, and it doesn't get better for her, and I'm just like. And you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it's Cersei. Yeah, Cersei. That was yeah. off me. I, I, Dude, you can't like... She turned into forgive like... Forgive and forget too quickly, man. Dude, she like, turned into like a... I haven't been forgetting Theon yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Really, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I'm just too kind-hearted or something. Maybe. Apparently. No, but like, do you want her to beat Marjorie? I want her to crush Marjorie. Really? I'm, I'm against that. I'm 100% against that. I like Marjorie way more than Cersei. I want Marjorie to totally win that. I like the character Marjorie, but like her family, they're way less cool than the Lannisters. Besides oh, your grandma. But her grandma is pretty good. Besides dope, your grandma. She's cool. I, li- I like the Tyrells though. Like I, I'd rather have the Tyrells be in power than Cersei Lannister. I'm not going to say all the Lannisters because I love Jaime and Tyrion, mm-hmm. but I'd rather have the Tyrells versus Cersei Lannister in, in, a, in a, like a more powerful position. Let's bounce over to the wall really quickly. Where we had Sam and Gilly having a nice conversation about la- the previous night, mm-hmm. and then Ollie comes in. Ollie is my least favorite character in ga- the entire game. Really? really, I don't like Ollie. No, no, no. But that scene was like good because yeah. like he's like he's he's not- a, he's he's went to go talk to Sam because he's still like why is John doing this? Like he wants to you understand. Know? Yeah. He wants to understand. I don't know. If he he wants to see. Though, yeah. Yeah, I, know. Also, I don't think he left changed, but no. I think he left, yeah. you know, like, at least with, like, like, you know, like, okay, maybe John's an idiot, maybe, like, Sam's an idiot, maybe they're both idiots, but they both, like, are looking at the greater good. Like, Sam did say, like, sometimes you have to make tough decisions. And that's why I love Sam. The end, that's why Sam was going to make character. better. And then Ollie's like, you think so? And he's like, he's like, yeah, or whatever. And he's like, mm-hmm. he leaves. But, you know, just that you think so, like, you really think that this is right, like, it shows that Ollie, like, come on, you, like, yeah. but he also, he had his entire family and everybody just, like, peaceful farmers be, like, yeah. burned and killed. Good. But he also represents, like, that faction of, like, the Night's Watch and the people in that far of the north, like, the kind of old guard are still. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's like, where the wildlings are super angry, like, don't want to work with the Night's Watch. The Night's Watch don't want to work with the wildlings, I don't, I, Yeah. Gotta be progressive, guys. <laughs> don't be ignorant. Dude, I can't believe you Marriage know. equality. But Sam is so wise that I really like Sam a lot. Yeah. He's he good. can't kill Yeah, anyone. he's a great advisor for yeah. John. Mm-hmm. He's a good replacement for Maester Eamon. Oh, yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's, he's like the new Maester. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you don't like Ollie, man. We're getting to the big part of the episode right now. Jon Snow made it to the Wild Place yes. on Hard Hole. It's kind of like a wildling outpost, I guess, where all the rest of them are gathered. And there's a bajillion of them. Yeah, it's there's huge. Time. So then Jon Snow goes ashore with Tormund mm-hmm. to go talk to them. And then Tormund kills the, <laughs> the Lord of Bones. That was the best yeah. part. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's just like the Lord of Bones is like all pissed because he's like, what are you doing with this crow? Like, why are you here? You're like, And then Jon, like, why aren't you? Or he says, like, why aren't you in handcuffs? And Jon Snow's like, he's not my prisoner. And he's like, well, what is he? And he's like, my ally. And then the Lord of Bones like really freaks out and then uh, Tormund's just like, you know what? Like, whatever. Yeah. Takes his staff and just beats it with him until he's dead. Yeah. And then he's dead and he just like looks at the other wild things and he's like, get the elders and let's meet. Because that's what I want to do. And yeah. it shows how badass Tormund is yeah. and like how much respect wildlings have for like 
Strength. Strength, yeah, 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 exactly. I love Torment. I absolutely love Torment. Yeah, he's really cool. Like, he's super cool. Oh my gosh, this episode got so good. Like I'm super This is the here. first episode yeah. that I that I actually got goosebumps. Because the elders meet. Yeah, the yeah. elders meet. Jon Snow shows them the dragon glass, basically convinces like some of them to join him and be like and tells him so this is the only way we're all going to survive. Maybe I don't like you, maybe you don't like me either. That's fine. But we have to help each other through this. And Torment said it, like, he came here because he needs us and we need them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So And like John just has that really good line too when the girl Wildling says like, um, you like you killed my brother and my dad or like a bunch of her family, right? Yeah. And then they're all kinda of complaining, like, yeah, like you guys have killed all my family too. And then Jon Snow just like bursts out and shows like his emotional side and he's like the day of man's raiders raid, um, you guys killed 50 of my brothers. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to forget them, but I still understand that if we're not together, we can't, we can't like live. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was so awesome. I loved that line. Yeah. I, I thought it just showed like a, a really good side of Jon Snow. Like, he doesn't like the wildlings. He doesn't like them. I don't know. He doesn't, he doesn't, I don't think he, you can say he likes the wildlings. I don't think you can say he dislikes them. Yeah, I don't think he just doesn't. Maybe at the end of this episode, mm -hmm. you can say he likes Maybe some he... of the wildlings. But like, from that point on, when he was going there, I don't think besides Egret, which he had a different kind of connection with. Yeah. As far as saying he likes the wildlings, I don't think I don't think he could say that. Okay, but like at the same time, he's not super crazy about half the Night's Watch. Like he doesn't like. Alfred. Yeah, that's rare too. It's, that's it's not rare like too. About, like, like yeah, I, I, I think he, yeah, he's I, like one of the few people that like. Tolerates understands them. both and, sides. Yeah. Like he sees their use and sees them as, like, he's the only one that's reinterpreting the purpose of the wall. And he's, like, the only person that's really wise enough that's had encounters with the White Walkers that's, like, can make the decision, like, to bring everybody together in order to keep them all alive, you know? Because mm -hmm. he fully believes that with just the Light Knight's Watch, they're not going to survive. Yeah. Okay, think about this for a second. Jon Snow is kind of like the Varys character in the North. Because Jon Snow... Or cause, yeah, he cause understands. Varys, Varys yeah. understands everything. Sure. All, what Varys wants for the southern part of... Or for pretty much the rest of Westeros is to have... Is the greater good. He wants what will benefit the kingdom most. Mm -hmm. And what he thinks that will be is uh, Daenerys on the throne. Mm -hmm. So he under... He, he will play the part. He will... He will interact with all the people even when he doesn't like them. But he, his ultimate goal is for the greater, what he thinks is the greater good. Same with Jon Snow. He doesn't, though he has, he's a Night's nice Watch member and the Lord Commander now, and he should have, and he has some sort of allegiance with them. That does not mean that he's going to blindly uh, stick them above everybody else. Yeah. Like just, yeah. just to kind of, like, just for pride's sake or anything. He understands that he's going to need help. And even if he has to ask people, that are distasteful to him, he will do it, he'll suck up his pride and he'll go do it because he he wants to survive and he wants mm -hmm. his people to survive. He, and he's the one who realizes that people are people are people and everybody's gonna have, each side's gonna have good and bad in them, so, mm -hmm. you know. It's kind of like his dad and not using people for what they need to be used for. Yeah, so Thin. like, the Then leader, I guess, guy was yeah. like super rattled and pissed and mm -hmm. he, not even his though- rattled, His rattled shirt was, <laughs> Anyways, and he basically just said this guy is still our enemy to Jon Snow and then left and brought a bunch of other like people with him. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so like almost Which was like like you know, like I was like fine with that happening. Yeah, it seemed like, like half like, the Wildland leaders left with this. Yeah, team. yeah. It was like fifty fifty. That's how I felt too, at least. Yeah. And what did they say that like five thousand came initially? Like yeah. with Jon Snow? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they start loading on the boats. They get on the boats and they go home and everybody lives happily ever after again. Wrong! Ah. Wrong! Peter, what happened? The White Walkers game! Woo! <laughs> and I like got so excited and like, yeah. honestly it's probably the best fight scene Game of Thrones has had. Game of Thrones is so good at making fight scenes. Minus that one from a couple of episodes ago, but like as far as, as, far as large scale ones go, large yeah. scale battles, battles water, look yeah. amazing. The wall, on Game of Thrones. This one, even yeah. though I feel like this wasn't even gonna be that big of a 
of a conflict. Yeah, he just, just like he just came at the end. He's like, oh shoot, they're coming up the walls. Yeah. But it just turned. Like, like, I thought it was gonna end battle. before they like showed up, kind of thing. Like the clip yeah. was gonna go away. You oh, know, like, like the up. fogs co- coming in, yeah. and like the they're fogs gonna get there. Yeah, the, the then first it, initial moment, you just see like the fog and kind of the distance yeah. coming over the mountains. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, oh crap! Oh, like, <laughs> oh no! Yeah, and they shut the gates on a bunch of their own like wild like. Like tons probably of the them. majority. Probably the yeah. majority, yeah. So like seventy five percent maybe. Yeah, yeah, so thousands and thousands of them all dead now. Locked outside. Yeah. And yeah. then they're all screaming and hammering on the door and hammering on then it all stops. Yeah. And like the Then leader who initially ran out is like pretty confused and he's looking through and then boom, a White Walker shows up and like yeah. jumps at him. Ooh, that was so good. And there's just this epic large scale battle. Yeah. And I was kind of annoyed because I don't really like the whole Jason and the Argonaut skeletons design. But I, I, I wanted to do it because it became more practical looking. They did a lot better animating and like having the uh, all the skeletons and stuff this episode, I think, than last season. I'm, I was more glad there were skeleton y than like the traditional like, like zombies. zombies. Yeah. I'm glad, yeah, I'm yeah, glad there was a I mix see, of both. That's yeah. what I was thinking too, but I'm glad there was a mix of both. So like yeah, you had half yeah, flesh yeah. and stuff. Cause yeah, cause like I don't want just Game of Thrones to turn into like another like, um, Walking Dead. Or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's a giant too. The giant, giant. was punching all the white wa- all all the whites and stuff. Crushing them. Crushing them with a, hitting them with this big flaming log. Honestly, yeah. like there's so many moments of that entire scene that I was just like Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. Like when the when the walkers on their like horses were peering up from the top there, I was yeah. just like Ring Raids. And I was just yeah. like looking at him, oh. and I was like, John Snow's just Aragorn, and then like, Tormund's <laughs> Kim Lee, and the other girls, like, like, like the other guys, like, Legos, like, yeah. when they're just running, oh, like, Ed. the three of them. Yeah. Like, Ed. Yeah, Ed. yeah, And I was just like, man, this, like, like, just brings me back to so many good Lord of the yeah. Rings moments. All the zombies and, pouring oh off the cliff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then there's, like, the little oh. kid zombies that are just way freaky. That was the nuttiest moment. Yeah. You know? They that, just charge the girl, and she gets killed. Yeah. She's That's... Just, like, that's one of the reasons why this episode was so good. They got me to like, like, really enjoy a character, like yeah. thoroughly enjoy a character, and kill her in the same episode. And it was like, wow, that sucks. Like yeah. I was, I was genuinely like, yeah, like sad you, when she died. You thought she was gonna be like an advisor type. Yeah, like, like I, I was pretty excited for it, and like I was like, I liked everything. I liked what she had like said. I found her funny. I yeah. liked. That she like really like uh, thought of her kids kind of thing. Like yeah. I liked a ton of aspects of her personality. I liked her character, mm-hmm. and then they killed her. And like the way they killed her too was yeah. like with with children. Uh, wow, yeah, like, yeah. and it was just like, wow, that's that's so sad. And that's like that was the perfect way for her to die. Yeah, you know, because like they would have just killed her with one. Like that would have been too lame. But she just like destroys so many. Looks so epic. And then has to like just like, like loses her nerve. Just has to like let herself die, and it's like wow. Like I was pretty sad. Like, oh, do you think she let herself die? I feel. Well, like I feel. I feel like she just couldn't bring herself. To she can't. She just can't. She sees her like not only were well those probably those could have been like other wildling children too from a while ago or something, yeah. right? Like she probably she still sees them as children, okay. and I think she just has such a soft spot for children that she never hurt or touch or anyone. Like okay. I feel I I felt like that from her even when she was just like looking after her two daughters. I mm-hmm. feel like one of the well like the white kids looked a lot like one of her kids yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that might have freaked her out. But that was like phenomenal. Like yeah. that was oh that was so good. Oh, and Jon Snow kills a White Walker with his yeah. Valyrian steel Valyrian sword. Steel, remember that one. Yeah, oh, they remember steel. that one. Yeah. So they had a really cool battle. Yeah, did they oh. like mention that soup a lot in the show as compared to the book? Because in the book, you know, that Valyrian steel is like obsidian, but like I. I think this is the first time. No, because remember Jon Snow's like surprised when it blocks okay. his ice blade. He's like, wait, what? Yeah, because it I looks like die. Jon Snow is gonna die there. Yeah. Like. He thinks he's gonna die. I thought his blade was gonna get blown up, mm-hmm. and uh, that whole like scene too with the Fen running in there. I was like pretty happy with the Fen at that point, just being yeah, like, yeah. "You get the dragon glass. I'll I'll d- distract slash like deal with this guy for yeah. a little while, right?" And you said and you're like he's super badass, and he just got wrecked so fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he was like badass, like yeah. in the in the moment. Well, and all the previous stuff, because yeah. he had just wrecked, like, a bunch of them when yeah. he was standing at the front. Like, he was a very good warrior. And he got pretty screwed that, like, when his blade hit the thing, it shattered. Yeah. 
You know, like mm-hmm. it's like, oh, like, though my weapon of choice is now gone. Yeah. Guess I'm using my fists. <laughs> Bye bye. I'm so glad they didn't kill Tormund. Yeah. I was really scared. Yeah, I, I was yeah, really I scared he was gonna die. Like, I lo- and I just loved Tormund after this episode. Everything he said, his look, like, <laughs> oh, I just, I absolutely loved him. And the giant didn't die either, which I was really happy about. Because it almost looked oh, like he was yeah. gonna have like a final last stand. Yeah. And, like get overwhelmed, but he just kind of walked into the ocean. He was so. <laughs> yeah. He was so chill. Yeah. He just fought. He's like, I'm gonna stop fighting now. He just, just kind of walks away. He just say kills like a bajillion. Oh. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. Yeah. 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 Readings out of ten. Yeah. In three, two, one, twenty-three. Ten. Dope. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goes. Honestly, I think it's the best Game of Thrones episode yeah. I've ever seen. I can't remember. Like ever? ever I think ever? I think ever. I think oh. I'd say ever because oh. if I took well, it's been some 46s, man. <laughs> and I just like saw so much like epic Lord of the Rings, yeah. and I'm a you're huge just a, you're battle, a battle lover. Guy, yeah. yeah, like I love large scale battles. He's the so, battle like, guy. Yeah. If you I put in like a good episode. large scale yeah, battle, yeah. like I just absolutely love it. But yeah, and everything I wanted from a Game of Thrones episode was like cool battles. Tyrion's doing great stuff. Yeah, Tyrion's Tyrion. doing his Cersei's Tyrion. life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want. Literally, there's like, there's nothing like that was like, oh, that was too bad, or that was like, oh, poorly done, or like, oh, why'd they drag that up? No, it was yeah. all awesome. It was so good. I loved it. Pain and suffering and sadness. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten, ten, ten. Uh, thank you for watching. Please go watch the episode because it's so good. And then you should watch this review because this review is not bad. Yeah, you should watch uh, this review because you haven't been watching it up till now. Yeah, that too. And then you why not subscribe? You know, it's cool. And like for, who do we say, Marjorie? Yeah, yeah like Marjorie. for now. Oh yeah, like for Marjorie. <laughs> this like for Cersei. Then we'll see who's team Cersei and who's team Marjorie. <laughs> then we'll, you know, we'll be on my team. Well, or just like the video because it's cool. Yeah, you know, like it. Leave some too. comments too. I really like comments. Oh yeah, we all comment on our I got That was cool. Yeah. Shout, Shout out to uh, Ren Nez, my rude, for commenting on our video. We yeah. really appreciate that. Please comment on this next one. You're my, you're my favorite. You're our favorite subscriber. Well, I don't even know if you subscribed to me though. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you did, you're our favorite. If you, you didn't, are. you're still awesome. Ren Nez, my rude. Renan is my rude. Renan is my rude. Son. Son. Let's call it. Renan is my rude. Renchan. Renchan. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Yep. Peace out. Peace. Welcome to Benjamin Reed's Fifty Shades of Grey. This section is called Anastasia's reaction to Christian's erect penis. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Suddenly, he sits up and tugs my panties off and throws him on the floor, pulling off his boxer briefs. His erection springs free. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> he kneels up and pulls a condom on his considerable length. Oh no, will it? <laughs>